Hey YouTube, Justice Keeper Hero here again, and I've got some more card unboxings and stuff for you for Cardfight Vanguard. I've got about, oh, let's see, 11 different boxes of different sets to open for you today, and we're just going to go crack these open and see if we can pull anything special. Uh, my hopes are not high, seeing as how these are old sets, but... We'll see. You never know. All right? Okay. So, I think what we'll do is we'll first start off with... Now, let me pull up my chair. Galaxy of the Cosmos. Now, this is a very, very old booster. Like, one of the first few extra boosters back in the day. Um, this, featuring the cover card Galaxy Blaukluger, which is one of my favorite Nova Grappler cards. Just card art-wise and... I love playing Blouse back in the day, so, you know, let's see what we can do. Um, I should have brought my knife with me today. It's about uh, 12.30 in the morning as I'm recording this. I know I should be in bed sleeping for Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you, by the way. Um, so, yeah, these are very old boosters, and all the old boosters. Uh, they only came with, like, five cards per pack. Um, but, ooh, we get promo card. Featuring an alternate anime art for Shining Lady. One of the old crit triggers from back in the day. And in this box we get... How many? 15 packs and 5 cards each. So, let's get crack a -lackin'. Let's see if we can pull any blouse today. Child Deck Volume 13. Oh, back in 2014... All right, and we have Claydol Mechanic, a great card back in the day for Nova Grappler. This was their immediate counter charge. Counter charge was essential. Oh, Eisen Kugel, a Blau Kluger support card. Oh, all the memories are flooding back to me now. Reagan Bogan, I, I loved all uh, the robot arts for Nova Grappler back in the day. Like, they were something special. Schnee Reagan and ah, Grosse Bar. I guess. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. Um, but also, another Blau support card as a rare. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now, these aren't going to be anything amazing like my last case opening. Like, these are like the old, old cards. So, these are nothing compared to the old cards. Um, Armored Heavy Gunner. Okay. Okay. Starker Wind, the Blau stand trigger. They ran stand triggers back in the day, which would help you stand another rear guard during your battle phase, which is nice. And, ah, Sean's Wetter. I love it. I love it. Okay. And back then, you only had triple rares. No VRs, no special extra rarities or anything like that. Pluto, Blau, Kluger. Ah, Blau's. Loved you guys back in the day. Muscle Hercules. Blau Panzer, part of the Blau ride chain back in the day. Love it, love it. Polar Stern, another Blau support card. Blaus were like one of my favorite decks to run back in the day just because I loved robots. And they spoke to me because they were Gundam as hell. And I love it. Da, 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 da. Okay. Hungry Dumpty. Tough boy. Hey, there's our forerunner Blau Younger. Very nice. Battle Riser and Jupiter Blau Kluger. Very nice. Uh, getting a lot of Blau support cards here. All right. Oh. And we have, I think it was like maybe one triple rare per box back then or two. Not sure. We have Blade Arm Leprechaun, another Blau support card. Blau's were the main um, advertised clan for this set. Bear Dine Samurai, but that was for sure. Kaiser. Ah. Another Shining Lady crit trigger. We had the alternate art promo, so that's pretty cool. And Daredevil Samurai. And a Sure Kaiser support card. Alright. Next pack. Another Clay Doll Mechanic. Hungry Dumpty. Eisenkugel. Reagan Bogan. And oh ho ho! Blau Dunkle Height. Double rare. The Blau Perfect Guard Sentinel back in the day. Loving these. Loving these. Oh, 
Uh, this is like a trip down memory lane for me. I love it. And now I can play Blouse in the standard format. Oh. Okay, another one, another one, another Shining Lady, and another Grosse Bar. Mm. Da, 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 da. More Claydol Mechanics. I think I've gotten a playset by now. Okay, okay, and Sternblau Kluger. Ah, oh, this guy was an old favorite of mine. He was like one of the main cards for the Blau deck, except for... Mond Blau Kluger and Galaxy Blau Kluger, but seeing Stern again. The feels, man, the feels. So that was two double rares. Pretty sure it was only one triple rare per box, which is unfortunate. But it's okay. Bear down Samurai, Blau Panzer. Blau Kluger. Yeah, the grade two. Now we have the full on ride chain. So let me go over that real quick with you guys. So we have Blau Panzer. Blau Kluger, Stern Blau Kluger, and Blau Younger. This was the Ride Chain deck back in the day for Blaus, and they are so cool. Don't they look Gundam as hell? I, I, I really love them. So I'm just going to keep them here as we open our next pack. Let's see what we can pull. Okay, and I did get a new camera, so if I can hold it up here, let's see if it focuses. Yeah, it does, for a little bit. Okay. Okay. Works for me. Galaxy Blau Kluger! That is our triple rare for this box. And now the whole ride chain is complete. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Could not ask for anything more. Unless... If there was a second triple rare, I could get a, you know, a Mond Blau Kluger, make it even better. But I can only hope. I'm pretty sure it's only one triple rare per box. Brutal Jack. This was an old staple Nobu Grappler card back in the day because he was an 11k base when most units were like 9k base, like our boy Blau Kluger here. But very nice, very nice. We got about maybe two or three more packs to go. More of you. Another Daredevil Samurai. Yeah. Okay. More of you. Da, 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 da. Another Polar Stern. Oh, yeah. We had like three more packs in there. It's mostly rares we're getting. Like, the rarity pull was not that great back in the day. Morganrot, the best forerunner for Blau. Right, the, this is the best forerunner right here. Because this allowed Blau cards, to this, this allowed your Blau deck to search the top three for a Blau at the cost of one counterblast. And that was just fantastic, because Nova Grappler decks did not have a lot of search power back then. Uh, da, da, da. And this is the last pack. One, two. Okay, a Shura Kaiser, a double rare. Okay, so it's three double rares and one triple rares in these boxes. But a Shura Kaiser was a pretty cool card. He was like one of the first Nova Grappler cards that back. Like the first boss guy. So, not too bad. You know, I'm not too bad. Not, not too mad with this set, actually. I, I really like it. And the fact that we had the Blau ride chain... Like, that just elevates this for me. All right. That was the first box. So I'm going to try and go through these as quickly as I can. This here, we have Cavalry of Black Steel. This was back in, like, the limit break. Uh, pretty close to around Champions of the Cosmos. This features Spectral Duke Dragon, a, a total fan favorite card. Like, lots of people love Spectral Duke. And it was sad that he never really got any further support. Like... He was a great, fun deck to run, but he just never got a whole lot of support. I have two of these to go through, so I'm going to try and speed through these as quickly as I can. Maybe we'll pull the ride chain in this one, too. Okay. Spike Brothers. We have Gold Paladin. Gold Paladin. Oracle Think Tank. And, ah, oh, Jelly Beans for Spike Brothers. 
Okay. Spike Brothers is basically football. But they call it Gallows Ball, where there are no rules. And Kagero is also in this set. Okay. Here we go. Scout of Darkness Vortimer, the grade one for the ride chain. Let me give you a nice little look at him there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Really like his art. But they recently got revamped. Um, Dudley Daisy. They recently got revamped in standard format, and I am super happy to play Spectral Duke. Even if he's not competitive, I'll still play him just for the fun. Commander Gary Gannon. And, oh, we got Mega Calling in here, too? Wow. Lots of diversity. Oh! Oh! Oh, we pulled an SP! An SP Dudley um, Emperor. Okay. I did not expect to pull an SP from this set. Uh, this is probably not worth a whole lot, but pulling an SP out of a random box like that, that's pretty darn cool, actually. Oh, I'm going to have to put that in a special fold, uh, special binder of mine. Kagero. do 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 and Dragonic Executioner. Pretty cool cards, but oof, that SP. That took me by complete surprise. Okay. Euro Slinger, more Mega Colony. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, Black Dragon Knight Vortimer. The grade two for Vortim for uh Spectral Duke. Now we just need to pull the grade one. Dragon Whelp, Vortimer. And then we'll be good. We'll have the whole ride chain if we can pull Spectral Duke somehow. Uh, so far, nothing. But, ooh, I'm really liking the SP. Really liking that SP. And SP chances, pull rates were low back then. Like, real low. So this is actually pretty darn cool. Oh, I see. Okay, a triple rare. So now I have the triple rare and the SP. Pulled from the same box. That is pretty cool. Something that you can tell is like the texture of the card and also the flavor text is different. The triple rare flavor text says charge, the finishing blow, avalanche stampede. And then you have the SP that says, this is the end, the finishing blow, avalanche stampede. It's pretty similar, but it's nice that some SPs had different flavor texts for the cards back then. So that was pretty cool. Nowadays, SPs, you don't even have different flavor texts. You just have full art cards, and that's it. Which is nice, but like at the same time, the flavor text was what made it special, you know? Oh, speaking of, Black Dragon Whelp Vortimer. Now we just need Spectral Duke Dragon from the second box, and we'll be golden. <laughs> golden for Gold Paladin. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. That was a terrible joke. Gigan Tech Destroyer, another support card for Spectral Duke. He was like a 12k beat stick. And that was pretty good back then. Because normally vanguards were either like 10 or 11k. Machining Mosquito. Um, Bewitching but Officer Lady Butterfly. Very nice artwork. I do like it. I do like it. Foiling's looking really cool too. Da 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 da. One, two, three. Oh, Martial Arts Mutant Master Beetle. I like the double rare foiling that they introduced here. Not like just like a clear sheen, but like it's got like a bit of texture to it. If the camera can focus. Focus on the card, please. Thank you. Like it's got that real nice shimmering texture. Like not a, I, I, I kind of miss it actually. First, I thought it was a triple rare because of how it looked, but no. Double rares looked really, really good back then. And more other stuff. And we got two packs left. I'm going to try and speed this along. One, two, three. Oh, Reckless Express, another double rare. Very nice with that double rare foiling. Very, very nice. Oh, we got two more packs. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get another uh, triple rare, guys. I'm pretty sure it's like only one triple rare per box, which is kind of sad. But that SP was a nice surprise. I'll never say no to an SP. 
And, oh, Dragonic Lawkeeper, another double rare. This is a really cool looking card. Like, let me pull it up here. Yeah. Like, these cards look great. Even the old arts looked great. But the new arts, oh, the new arts are fantastic. SP. Dudley Emperor. Very, very nice. All right, and then the next box, I'm going to try and speed this along. Uh, a second Cavalry of Black Steel. Mm -mm. Do, do, do. One, two, three. Another Dragonic Lawkeeper. Okay, that's kind of cool. So first double rare, we got two left, and then one triple rare left. Come on, Spectral Duke, show us your beautiful mug. Okay, nothing here. Cards still look pretty good back then, and I got the new camera, finally. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, another Black Dragon Welt Vortimer. Vortimer, Gold Paladin stuff is always nice. Very sad that they never... Um, Supported this back then. And another Reckless Express, I swear. If we pull another Dudley Emperor. Oh, man. Another. Uh, this is looking very similar to the previous box, guys. And girls. Sorry. This is looking very, very similar. Almost too similar. We're pulling the exact same freaking cards. I swear, if Master Beetle is the last double rare we get, I'm calling Witchcraft. Another Butterfly Officer. Okay. Come on, Spectral Duke. Come on, Spectral Duke. Oh, White N Dragon Knight Pendragon. This is a really cool card. I like the artwork. Come on, camera. Very nice. Like I like that artwork. That looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Those are all our double rares. So all that's left is the triple rare. Okay, more stuff. And we mostly care about the higher rarity cards, not the lower rarity cards. Another Gigan Tech Destroyer. I might be able to make a gold paladin deck just out of these two boxes, maybe, if I'm lucky. And our triple. Hey, there he fucking is! Spectral Duke Dragon, the cover card of the box. This was a restanding Gold Paladin Vanguard unit, and that was pretty pricey back in the day. Still a fan favorite. I wonder, will the box be nice to me and give me an SP Spectral Duke Dragon? Maybe. Maybe pretty please? No? Okay, screw you then. But <laughs> Spectral Duke... I'm, I'm calling it. Like, I called it. I asked for him to be in this box, and he was, guys. Like, holy cra Holy crap. Two more packs. Give us an SP, potentially. No, more junk. Hiya. And no. Okay. Well, we asked for Spectral Duke. We got him. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm liking it. All right, next of the miniature boosters, we have Commander of the Incessant Waves. This is an old G booster. This is mainly just for Aqua Force support. It was more like a clan booster. So you'll find nothing but Aqua Force in here. Now this has seven cards per pack, but only 12 packs. I never went through this set, but I'm excited to see how it goes. Oof, why are you? Hard to open all of a sudden. Uh, 
Oh, Interspectral Dragon and Illusionist of the Crescent Moon. These are trial deck advertisements for back then. That's cool. Kelpie Riders, Blue Storm. Blue Storm Battle Princess. Oh, this is for Legion support too. I wonder if... Oh, Ripples. Ripples were a fun deck. They were also like... One time very, like, expensive because someone managed to break them somehow. And then one of the cards ended up getting restricted and banned. So, yeah, there you go. There went that. Nice art on some of these cards. Really liking it. And, oh, Jockey of the Great Sea Skyros. This was a good um, Thavis support card back in when Thavis first came out. This is so annoying to get rid of because, like, you couldn't really, like, target him for anything. So, not too bad. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <clears throat> do, do. Tier Knight. Violent Shooter. And G Blue Wave Marine General Foivos. Another double rare. Good Thabas support back then. And a pretty decent card all around for, like, Blue Wave. Although Blue Wave was never really that amazing of a deck. All right, let's see. Oh, that's right. Maelstrom does come in this set, so I wonder if he'll show his face to us. Little the ripple trigger. Okay. And... Oh! <laughs> Ask and I shall receive! Maelstrom! One of my favorite Aqua Force cards. This is the break ride version of him. That was pretty good to run back in the day. Man, love playing Maelstrom. He's so fun. That was our first triple rare of the box. Nicoletta, do do do, Mitros, more triggers, another ripple, uh, grade one, and Titan of the Trench Patrol. Very weird card. Commander of the Incessant Waves. Let's keep going. We've got more packs to go through. Let's see more stuff to your night blue storm blue wave crit trigger and blue storm shield uh homerus the blue storm sentinel grade one blue storm deck was a lot of fun to play i never got to pick it up until like you know later back when it got cheaper but it was still fun to play pulling a lot of more double rares than the last couple boxes speaking of Kelpie Rider Petros, the Thavis Crit Trigger. These Crit Triggers were essential for gameplay. Like, they were specified for a certain um, archetype, and they were mad expensive back then. That and the Stride Fodders, too. Oof, I don't want to hurt the cards. Uh, da -da -da. More Aqua Force, more Aqua Force, all of it Aqua Force. Another Titan of the Trench Patrol. More Marine Generals. A lot of a lot of Marine Generals with the Aqua Force Navy. Yeah, let's see. Two, three, four. Ah, one of the Ripples. Oh, this is for the Ripple Legion. Very nice. And a Battle Siren, Chloris. Very nice. Legion was when you had um, two cards on the Vanguard Circle when there normally is one. But Legion uh, first introduced that mechanic of having two units on your Vanguard Circle. And then Yu-Gi-Oh! shamelessly stole that shit with their new summoning mechanic. Konami's officially run out of ideas, guys. Now they're starting to steal from other franchises and shows. They have no shame. It's all about the money, money, monies. So we only pulled like one triple rare. I'm getting a little nervous here. Oh. Bat Battle Siren Adelaide. This is another th good Thabas support card. Very nice. And our last pack. Can we pull another triple rare? Or is Maelstrom the only one? Is he the only one? Please don't let him be alone. You bastards, let him be alone. How dare you? How dare you leave Maelstrom alone? 
It's all right, though. Not too bad. I'm not upset with these pulls, actually, really. I'm actually rather enjoying myself. All right. The next small one, the last one, is a Galaxy Stargate with the new with the Xeroth Dragon. The Xeroth Dragons were introduced a couple years ago, I think. Um, and they were like supposed to be like the penultimate cards because they were they were like change the game and the way like the game flowed, and they were like your ultimate trump card. So let's see. Maybe we'll pull a Xeroth Dragon. Maybe we'll pull, maybe we'll pull our boy Stark. We'll see. Haven't cracked these open, this pack open in a long time. This set was a favorite of mine because it had all the Stargate clans. It had Link Joker, Nova Grappler, and Dimension Police. More Blau support, of course, too. Cosmic Hero, Grand Hogan, and Blastos Messiah. Oh, man. More Blau's. More blouse. Ew, the leaders. Weirdos. Dimensional po Robo Pilot. This one's weird. I didn't really run that. Great Galactic Beast Zealed. This is the G Guardian. Um, it's a grade four that does have shield, and you can only call it forth with a healed by discarding a heal trigger from your hand. So very nice. And Cosmic Hero Grand Monk, the Sentinel for Cosmic Heroes for Dimension Police. So not too bad, not too bad. One, two, more Link Joker stuff. Very nice. And, <gasps> oh, Star Vader Chaos Breaker clothes. I forgot Chaos Breaker was in this set. This guy, this dragon, he's a fucking asshole. But we love him for it. I used to play Chaos Breaker back in the day, too. Because I, I always wanted to be the asshole. Like, I hated the deck before but when I was playing against it. But when you play with it, oh, the feeling of power. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Let's see what else we get here. That was our first triple rare. Double rare. Oh, nice. The Star Vader Megalon Extreme. So, now that I have a heal trigger here, I can explain how the G-Guards work. So, let's say that, for all intents and purposes, this is my Vanguard. My opponent is attacking me with a big-ass uh, attack. I can pitch this from my hand and put it into the drop zone or the graveyard. And call forth a G Guardian from my G Zone to help defend against the attack. So that's pretty nice. So the G Guards were definitely very helpful. Made the game a lot healthier. Um, let's see. What do we get in the next pack? Okay. Guns Dawn and... Fierce Attack, Star Vader, Dubnium. Very good Chaos Breaker support card. I really liked using this guy. He was a lot of fun to use. Uh, more Dimensional Robo support, too. I love... Dimensional Robo was my favorite to play. Oh, Blazer Blau Kluger. A Blau Stride. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. So Gundam. So Gundam. Come on, focus. There you go. There you go. Very nice. Love it. The art on those on these cards just looked fantastic and stunning. One, two, three, four, five. Now back to the two cards that matter. Oh, ho, ho, Zubat Battler Victor. The new Victor Grade 3 that came out in this set. Very nice. So two triple rares for the box. I think that's all we get in terms of high rarity cards unless we pull a generation rare in the unlikely case that we do. Extreme Battlers were very fun to play. Always fun. And then Demolition Beast uh, Demolzarus. Nice little stride for Nova Grappler. Not really that nice. I mean, it was kind of doo-doo compared to other cards that were out at the time. But it's nice to pull some of these old strides. Maybe I'll do something fun. And we got... Oh! The Photon reprint! Very nice. So this was an old, very old Legion card back in the day, as you can see. By this little sword symbol here. At the edge of the card. 
Come on, focus. Focus. Cameron, you're not working with me here. But it, basically, so you would have like a grade three Vanguard and the grade two, like right here. And the whole art would connect the two. And it looked so good. But I'm surprised we actually pulled the reprint. This is a this was a great card for Link Joker and Star Vaders back in the day because it was essentially just a free lock. And locking was like the douchiest thing that you could do to your opponent. They wouldn't really get, be able to like play much and stuff. Uh, speaking of Blaus, Newmond Blau Kluger, another grade three Blau support card. Sweet. All right, more Blau support. Extreme Battlers. This was a pretty fun card to run back then. Cosmic Hero Grand Rope, a reprint of the Stride Fodder, and Meteo Kaiser Dogen Titan. Their best G Guardian, to be honest. Nova Grappler's best G Guardian, and it's kind of meh compared to other ones, but you know, can't really complain too much, I suppose. And the last pack more Dimensional Robos, more Blows. Uh, Severed Temper, and a Link Choker G Guardian, Large Wheel of the Cosmos, Cosmo Wreath. Not bad, not bad. It's a shame we didn't pull a Generation Rare or a Xerox Dragon, but two Triple Rares and the Photon Reprint. Can't really complain about that. Oh my god, I'm already at half an hour already. Okay, I need to speed through these quick. Speaking of Legion, this is the first time I'm ever opening this set. The first time. I never got my hands on this set. And I was upset. Because Legion was a cool mechanic back in the day. And I never really got to play a Legion deck until like it was phased out. And the G format took in and Strides came in to, you know, uh, have fun. And this was an advertisement for the next set, Blazing Perdition. And here we have a promo card of Harmonix Messiah. A Cray Elemental Messiah card. This card is from all clans and all nations. So nice. All right. Oh, man. The first time I'm ever opening this set. And I'm excited. How many packs do we get in this? 30 packs. 30 packs. Holy crap. But I'm pretty sure they're five cards each, so I shouldn't get too excited. But this is when deleters were, like, first getting introduced. It's like, yeah, we got your normal 10k deleter. Narukami. Catch Gall Liberator. Pretty good card back then. Korin Gall Liberator, a Legion Forerunner. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Hoping I can pull a good Legion from this set. Two, three, four. Sentinel for Spike Brothers. No, no not the Sentinel. This is a Quintet Wall. So for Quintet Walls, um, let's say, uh, where's like a grade three that I can use? Uh, right here. So let's say you had an open Counterblast and this was the only card in your hand. You could call this the car Guardian Circle Counterblast 1 and flip over your damage. And you would call the top five cards of your deck to the Guardian Circle to help aid you in shield. So that was a pretty interesting mechanic, and it definitely helped speed up the Legion. Um, so, yeah, not, not bad. Kind of fun. I wonder if we'll pull Thingsaver, the cover card. That would be cool. That would be cool. One, two, more Legions, more Legions. And speaking of a Legion... Light Source Seeker Alfred Exiv. Very nice. Very powerful Legion. Like the best Seeker Legion besides Thing Saver. I wonder if we'll pull the Blaster Blade to go with this then. That would be nice. Okay. More Deleters and stuff. More Liberators. Seekers were not. A very good legion deck at all all they did was like call and like just get minimal power and stuff they didn't really do anything incredible it was mainly their grade threes that were pulling the weight of the deck and the rest of the deck itself was just bad deleter igor the forerunner for deleters oh boy 
boy. More liberators. Brawlers, deleters. Grimgall seeker. More seekers. They were doo doo. Two, three, four, five. On um, deleter, grade two for a legion. All right, one, two, three, four. The royal paladin quintet wall, defending seeker Shiron. Overall, pretty meh. One, two, three, four, five. Liberator, Lawful Trumpeter. So nice for a Gold Paladin Legion deck. Bluish Flames. They were a very popular deck. Very popular. Even all the way up into G format, they were popular and expensive. Not anymore, but, you know. Four, five. Brawlers. Brawlers were a really good Legion deck back then, too. They would just smack face and gain a shit ton of power. They would just hit the whole board. And all their other rearguard units would just gain a crazy amount of power. Um, another Brawler. And another Legion Mate card. Oh. Gold Paladin Quintet Wall. Just fell right out. Just didn't even want to wanna be. More liberators, deleters, deleter. Oh, this is a pretty good deleter back then too. I know my buddy Nemesis T type ran these deleters back then. So far, like nothing all that crazy good except for maybe the Alfred Exiv. And even then, still kind of meh. Gold Paladin, Jewel Knights, Brawler. Oh, SP. SP Murasame Liberator Coil. Okay, I didn't expect to pull another SP today. Holy crap. That's two SPs in one sitting from just random boxes. That's actually pretty cool. Right, it already popped out, so another Seeker Grade 2 that's pretty poo-poo. One, two, three, four. More s Liberator for Legion. Man, there has to be more, though. There has to be more good stuff in here. Oh. Speaking of, we actually have a full-on Legion pair. There's the Legion pair. The art mixes in. It's the same. This is really cool, too, back in the day. I like that the full artwork was right there. Way to rip us off, Konami. You lazy shits. Running out of ideas for your precious gold mine card game? Oh, man, that's unfortunate for you. Okay, let's see. What else do we got? Oh, <laughs> the Deleter Boss Monster when Deleters first came out. Daunting Deleter Oaxes. So basically, what Deleters did is they would delete the opponent's Vanguard. So you'd pay the cost, and their Vanguard, the opponent's Vanguard was deleted, flipped face down, had no power, um, no ability, no grade or anything, I think, and no name. It might have still had the grade, but it had no name. And it was just zero. It was just there. until Unless you rewrote or something, you were stuck like that. And that gave the leaders a full-on... Um, gave them a chance to do a full-on assault. But cool. Pulling Oaxes. Very nice. Yep, yeah, just pulled right out. Another Legion mate. One, two, three, four, five. 
Locust Liberator, Asclepius, Fallon, Liberator of Royalty, Fallon. Four, five, more deleters. A little, uh, yeah, slightly underwhelmed, I guess, is the word. One, two, three. Double rare. Fourth right seeker, Egbert. Eh. Not too bad, I suppose. I was kind of hoping to pull Thing Saver, but eh, I guess I'm not so lucky this time around. Not with this box, but the SP was cool. This is too anime. This is like very anime esque art, and it just didn't look right with the other lip with the other uh, seekers. All right, next, okay. I didn't see what we got in the back, so let's see. One, two. Speak of him, and he shall appear. The best Seeker Grade 3, besides Alfred Exiv, Thing Saver Dragon. This was the Royal Paladin Restanding Vanguard. And you could keep chaining it off if you had the right amount of Counterblast for it and Soul. As long as you were able to pay the cost, you could pull it off multiple times. So that's cool. That is cool. We actually pulled Thing Saver. We pulled three triple rares and an SP in the same box. That's nice. And another double rare. This is the Deleter Quintet. No, wait. That's just a normal Sentinel. That is just a normal, normal Sentinel. Okay. Not bad. Although, it doesn't really work if we don't have Blaster Blade Seeker, but nice Brawler Forerunner. Like, <laughs> we could have, we should pull Blaster Blade Seeker, but I guess not. Normally, when you, you should pull, like, the Legion Mate. But I suppose not. This is the last two packs. One, two, three, four, five. Energy Seeker Madan. Kind of meh. And last but not least, Trash. So, all in all, um, not too bad. Could have been. Actually, no. It was pretty good. We pulled both Seeker... Legion triple rares. So, you know what? I'm satisfied with that, actually. And an SP. All in the same box. Pretty, pretty good. Alright, next is Infinite Rebirth. Omega Glendios is the cover card. So out of the one, we pulled three cover cards from three of our boxes. December 14th release. This was advertising the Seeker stuff and all the new Legion trial decks coming out. So I wonder if we'll pull Omega Glendios in here. We'll see. This was back in like when Vanguard in the anime was really good. Season three was like the best for me. Mm, sorry, for me of the original show because it had the stakes. It had everything. And a uh, reverse support card for Glendios, pretty good. Magnet Hollow was cool. I used to run. I used to run Glendios back then a little bit, but it was kind of wonky. I guess it didn't really have enough support. Uh, oh, Machining Spark Hercules. Very nice. Very nice. I ran a machining back then, too. Even the Legion. It was a lot of fun. And more stuff. Misdirection. Red Rainbow Liberator. More liberators, more goodness. 
And Cursed Lancer. Shadow Paladin for back then. On hit counter charge. Da, 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 da. Two, three, four, five. Ruin Magician for Glendios for reverse support cards. Five. Silverthorn Assistance. Silverthorns were a very popular deck back then, too, during the Link Joker arc. Back when Link Joker was first introduced. And Lizard Soldier Fargo. And they're advertising Persona 4 and White Schwartz. I never really cared for White Schwartz, and I still don't. One, two, three, four, five. An SP Machining Spark Hercules? Wow, guys, I'm pulling, like, mad SPs today. Holy crap. Damn. Oh, and it's got that that texture, that wave texture. Oh, man, that's cool. That is cool. Where did that pack go? Oh, there it is. Uh, Liberator... Dang. SPs are liking me today. Holy crap. Uh, double rare. Revenger Bloodmaster. Oh. When the unit placed on rear guard, if you have a Shadow Paladin Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, put the top card of your deck into your damage zone face down. Draw two cards. Hmm. I wonder if that was a Tekken card. To like help you reach limit break, and then you get to draw two cards. Machining Judge Bow Revenger. Revenge. Oh, that's right. Drag Ruler Phantom is in here, I think. Okay. And this is the Quintet Wall for Machining. Not too bad. Not too bad. Egan Tech Keeper, Brassy Bunny, Liberator Star Rain Trumpeter. Okay. Liberators were also very popular back then, too, before Legion. Like, they were the main protagonist deck, so they got a lot, a lot of love. Starry Skies Liberator. Five more blue storm battle princess. Hmm. Two, three, four, five. Ooh, this is a great card for Glendios. Taboo Star Vader Rubidium. Haven't really seen any triple rares either. So they might, must be all in this set, or this half, really. Eternal Bringer Griffin, Dragonic Overlord support. Pretty, pretty good. All right, now where are all our triple rares? Where are they? Where are they at? Wily Revenger Mana. Physical Force Liberator Zoran. Not bad. Uh, da, 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 da. They should be coming. Where the frick are they? Machining little B, giving me good vibes. World Line Dragon, Omega Glendiosis, Forerunner. Loving the art on these cards. Uh, takes me back, back to when Vanguard was a lot simpler back then. Much simpler time. One. Two, three, four, five. Where are our triple rares, yo? Where are they at? They are not coming out. I don't even think we pulled one. We pulled an SP, but it's not good enough. We need them triples. 
Knight for Dol Carol. Oh my god. Where are the triples? Bro. One, two, three. Come on. Hey, there we go. Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom Reverse. I remember playing reverse cards too. I played a couple reverse decks like Maelstrom Reverse, uh, Dimensional, Dimension Police Reverse. Like that was fun. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Machining Tarantula, more good machining support. And there's another triple rare. There we go. Revenger, Desperate Dragon. Very nice. Two triple rares back to back. You know what? Let me bring it up so you can see that dope card artwork. Loving it. Okay, so that was two triple rares. Cold Death Dragon. This is an Omega Locker, I think. Nope, this locked from the top of their deck. That was good to help make sure that all the cards were unlocked for Omega Glendios' skill. And I think we found our last triple rare. Nope, it is a Quintet Walter Kagero, a double rare. Not bad. Got about maybe three or four packs left. Oop. That one wanted to escape from me. Well, it's not gonna. And more uh, Liberators. Counter charger for when you replace your Blaster Blade Liberator. More machining, tarantula. Machinings were always cool to me because they were like mechanized bugs. And you know me, I'm a sucker for robots. So we only get two triple rares per box then? Unless I miscounted somewhere. Two, three. Yeah, sharp wing fitch, sharp fang witch photia. Let me go back. Did the SP count as our next as our triple rare? Let me see. So there was one and two. There's the SP. Yeah, I guess it did. Otherwise, it's just two triple rares per box. All right, though. I like it. I like it. I mean, this was fun to go through. Pulling SPs out the wazoo. All right. Next, we have Catastrophic Outbreak. The cover card is Chaos Breaker Dragon. He's a fucking asshole. This card, the card almost broke the game back when he first came out. And I have two extra booster packs first, so we're going to go through those. Catastrophic Outbreak. What do you have for us? Die Magnum, Dimensional Robo. Look at that Shatter Foiling. That Shatter Foil looks so good. Uh, more Link Joker stuff. Ah, Title Assault. He was a great card back then for Aqua Force. All right, let me uh, open this up here. We didn't see Omega Glendios, but I wonder. Ooh. Will Chaos Breaker show himself? Will he be a little bastard? And we get a promo. And it's in foil, Unrivaled Starvator Radon, the 12k attacker. Very nice. All right. First pack we go through, we get Honorary Professor Chat Noir, the Great Nature Break Ride. Really nice. Ah, Risers. 
love playing with risers. Wash up raccoon, you're pretty washed up. <laughs> Wordplay. Yeah. Beast deity, night jackal. Beast deity, desert gator. Beast deities were definitely fun. Another diamagnum. Beast deities were definitely fun to run back in the day. Especially like the um, reverse ethics buster. Like that was a super popular deck back in the day because you could get eight attacks off in one turn and that was insane back then it's your boy tama hagane nubatama staple card back then because it was on place buying a card from your opponent's hand no wait it's one of your opponent's rear guards i'm so sorry i'm stupid it's okay though we're gonna pull some great stuff like Original Saber Zero, our first triple rare. This was a Dimension Police break ride that minused power on the opponent's vanguard. Oh, Die Driller. Loving it. Oh, man, all these D Robo cards are bringing me back, dude. Kuroko, Nubatama. I ran Nubatama back then, too. I ran the Legion, though. The Legion was a lot of fun to play. Back then, Nubatama didn't really have much of an identity. Love Live, get the fuck out of here. I don't get what's up with these idle animes. I don't care for them. I probably never will. And, ah, oh, Die Shield. Oh, man, bringing me back when I was first trying to build up my dimensional robo deck. Dice Shield was expensive for no fucking reason. And we get Beast D&E Max Beat. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, it's already been an hour. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, Angel Feather. Interesting. Fuki. Very nice, very nice. Selenium. Very nice. What do we have here? Tetra Drive Dragon. I wanted to play this deck for so long. It reminded me of my double X Gundam because of the two big cannons on its shoulders. It was like the double X but in Aqua Force, and I always wanted to play the deck, but I never got around to it. Couldn't really afford it. Tetra, Tetra Drive was such a cool card. And we have, oh, a double rare. Cobalt Wave Dragon. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hmm. Pretty interesting budget option. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it just keeps coming back, guys. It just keeps coming back. D Robos, man. Oh. My heart, my heart can't take it. My old, my old buddies are coming back, man. Paradise Elk, Counterblast 2, draw a card for Link Choker. One, two, three, four, five. Stealth Dragon, Kabuki Congo. He was a great Nubatama card back when Nubatama first came out in the set, like when they actually had their own like full-on complete deck. It was fun because you had to, you disrupted your opponent's board, you disrupted their hand. A lot of fun. Energy Charger, Soul Blast two to draw one. Essential card for Nova Grappler back then. His draw power was essential. The more cards you had in your hand in Vanguard, the better. Bubble Edge Draco Kid. Very cute, very cool. Uh, da, 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 
right. Uh, last card is Stealth Fiend Daidara Hoshi. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. One, two, three, four, five. Knight of Entropy. I'm just going to get all these packs out. And just keep going. Can't stop, won't stop. Last card is another title assault. Let's go. Last card is Space Leviathan Drogmurad Dog Dogrumadra. There we go. That's a mouthful. Freaking kaijus. Godzilla, man. Space aliens. And the last card is Sea Strolling Banshee. But you know what? Let me look at this card. Because this card. Holy crap. The artwork. That's Godzilla as fuck, dude. Hiya. All right. Last card is Beast Deity Brainy Papio. An essential Beast Deity card for the Beast Deity deck. And we got Nursing Celestial, back when Celestials were a thing, I think. Looks like the clown is not going to show his freaking face, because he's a little bitch. Knight of Entropy. And by clown, I mean Chaos Breaker Dragon. He's a little bitch. He don't want to show his face to me, Abacus Bear. Fuck you. <gasps> oh my boy oh my boy my boy reverse Tayusha. oh my gosh he was a cr he was a key piece in my deck when i would play with my friends i would make them sweat with this card because it would be counterblast one i lock two of your rear guards with dimensional robo in their name and your opponent's vanguard loses ten thousand power now mind you Vanguards in back then were only like 11k, so they would be stuck at 1,000 power. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I pulled one of my old favorites. I cannot be happier. Oh, the memories are flooding back, everyone. Still got like three boxes to go through, I think. And it's already been an hour. Ugh. Got a lot of cards to put away when I'm done. All right, we're going to go with Breaker of Limits back when Limit Break was first getting introduced. And the cover card is Incandescent Lion Blondezel. Very nice. Very nice. Get this love life shit out of here. Ugh. All right, let me get all these boxes out of here. 30 packs, five cards per pack. Let's go. Okay. Three star chef. Storm right go ship. Skeleton Colossus. Mage of Calamity trip. I wanted to play Vermilion, but again, too expensive and I had no money back then. Ooh, now that is the stuff of nightmares. Wyvern Guard Gould, the perfect guard sentinel for Narukami in that delicious double rare foiling. Ah, Crimson Lion Cub Kerf. 
This card is banned in um, premium format. Because it's just so good. Like this old, that old Forerunner from like way back when is actually like, it breaks Ezel. So they had to ban it. Speaking of, one of the cards, Bowman's. He was one of the Ezel pieces. For the superior ride. And speaking of another piece, Gareth. He was also another piece. Oh, oh, wow. Battle Cupid No CL. Okay. Neat triple rare. Very neat. Very neat. Back then it was expensive. Because Angel Feather and No CL was like crazy good. Beastie Eddie White Tiger, back when Beasties were first coming out. Oh, can we do two at a time? Oh shit, yeah we can. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Nimue. Very nice. Come on. Get out. Get out of the damn pack. Core Memory Armoros. And that beautiful Double Rare Foiling. Back when Double Rares actually looked good. Thunderstorm Dragoon. Oh, it's 1.30 in the morning where I am. Oh god, I gotta finish this up. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to be blasting through these now. Oh, there he is. Blonde Ezel. We have the full-on ride chain. Blonde Ezel. We have the cover card. Sweet. Photon Bomber Wyvern. Ooh, another double rare. Deadly Swordmaster for Grand Blue. Looking spiffy. Oh, Cosmo Healer El Ergodiel. Angel Feather Ride Chain. Double rares back to back. So I think we've gone through all the triple rares. So I, cause I think it's only like two per like old box. And we already pulled two. We already got three double rares. So from now on, it's going to be just nothing but rares. Which is kind of boring, but eh, what are you going to do, you know? Yep. Fate Healer Ergodiel, the grade two for Ergodiel. Uh, Night Storm, very nice. Okay. Skeleton Demon World Knight, okay. Cool card for Grand Blue. Oh, never mind. Circular Assault Curiel. So we get three triple rares per box. So then what the fuck? Oh, Pure Keeper Requiel. Angel Feather Sentinel. So that's four double rares and three triple rares. Phoenix Calamity Flame. Miracle Feather Nurse. Deadly Nightmare, last pack. And Gatling Shot. Oh, I'm getting tired, guys, but I'm going to keep it up for you. I should be in bed. 
I should be in bed, but I'm doing this for you guys. I'll be able to sleep in on Christmas. It's fine. Hold on. Oh, I gotta stretch. Mm. All right. Last two. Raging Clash of the Blade Fangs. Looking forward to this guy. This is now we're in, we're now in like G era again. Oh come on. Why does this have to be difficult? Stop being difficult. I'm gonna waste like five minutes opening this box. There we go. Oh, that's right. These are the special critical trigger packs for the uh, promotion that's going on. You get one out of 26 types, and they're all in foil. Let's see. Revenger Air Raid Dragon. Ooh, Dimensional Robo Die Wolf. Ancient Dragon Flame Maiden for Tachikaze. And this is... Oh, this is a Cray Elemental Critical Trigger. Thunder Elemental Gororo. This is Blue Storm Soldier Missile Trooper. All right, guys, I'm going to breeze through these. Oh, so these only had like, oh, okay. So these were ones that only had five packs. Okay. A little weird, but okay. Okay, Savage Sorcerer, the Stride Fodder for Tachikaze. Belial Owl. Belial Owl for fucking Luard. Oh my god, this card was expensive back then. I don't even know if it's still expensive. Four, G Guardian. Luard was like the main Shadow Paladin clan to play, and it still is. It sickens me. Luard ruins standard for everyone. Because they made Luard too good, and now everything else by comparison looks not as good, so nothing's expensive anymore. There's not really, like, too much resale value. be amazing if we could pull an SP pack, though. That'd be really nice. Two, three, four, five. Da, 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 da. Giant Moai the Supreme. Same card again. What the heck? Ju oh, Uranus Blau Kluger. Very nice. This is when Blau's got more support, and I was hyped as hell for it. rarity cards besides that Belial Owl so far. Hmm. 
Volmon Blaukluger. More Blau goodness. Love me some Blaus, dude. Ah, uh, Stealth Rogue of Envy EQ. Now we're getting to the high rarity stuff. So that means all the good stuff is over here. Kyaki Zora. Bare Knuckle Arnest. Holy Mage Alessia, back when I played Gurgowit in G era, and now they brought him back into standard, and I am so happy. All right, and our first triple rare, Rogue Deity of Third Realm, Yasue Goma. Stride for Murakumo. Not bad, not bad. I like it, I like it. Oh, we pulled a generation rare. Favorite champ, Victor. This is an this is a great Nova Grappler stride, even in premium. Like he's pretty darn good. Okay, I did not expect to pull a generation rare. That's pretty good. Golden Dragon, Build Peak Dragon. I like it. I like it. I like it. I ran that back in the day when I had Gurguit, and that was a budget option. Teaching Knight Hudon. Oh, man. All these cards are familiar to me. Oh. Uh, Savage Mystique. And a reprint of Galaxy Blau Kluger. Nice. I pulled two galaxies tonight. Okay, attract rune dragon. Five packs left. Medio Kaiser Unior, very nice. Cool G Guardian for Nova Grappler. Evil Refuser Dragon says no. Uh, Knight of Encouragement. Pile Dragon. And Great Emperor Ga Dragon Gaia Dynast. Another stride. This one for Tachikaze. Okay, you know what? Not too bad. I liked it. We pulled a Generation Rare. It's funny, like, every time I go through this set, like, every time I get a box of Raging Clash of the Blade Fangs, I got four. Like, I got. Uh, four boxes back when the set first came out so I can get stuff for my decks. And I pulled a generation rare in each one. And then I go through this set again later and I pull another one. What are the odds? Okay. All right, last box, guys. Uh, Dragon King's Awakening. Another G era set. A 
let's do it. Oh, this is when they were advertising Dragoborn, that game that went nowhere. Alright, let's see what we pull. Okay, now they got seven cards in here with two rares or more. Very nice. They fixed that. Hadra Draco Kid, very cool. Pulsar Duplex Dragon, back when Gear Chronicle was a thing. And I was playing Demiurge. I was playing um, Zodiac Time Beast, but the Demiurge version, because Chronojet, too mainstream. Oh, a reprint of Dragonic Vanquisher, the old one. Wow. Getting all the reprints and the SPs today. Do, do, do. Oh, the fish. Efficient carp. Not efficient enough. Maureen Spear Dragon for some Claret Sword. Maiden of Fertility Governing Lily. Cool stride for Neo Nectar, but didn't really see too, too much play. Mighty Bolt Dragoon. Reprint. Very much needed back then. Because stride fodders were expensive as hell. Because they were generic and splashable in any deck. Brahma. Rap Heart. Nico. All right. Got something good here. Yes, we do. Dragonic Vanquisher sparking to go along with Dragonic Vanquisher. Let's go. Another Mighty Bolt Dragoon. Cool. Okay, Eradicator Support. Very nice, very nice. And we got Plumeria Flower Maiden Charl. I don't know if this saw a whole lot of use. And Prosperity Maiden Diane. Ooh, Ichikishima and Claret Sword Revolt. Nice. In the same pack, a double rare and a triple rare. Sometimes this did happen, but Ichikishima? Oof, that's a good pull. Yada, yada, yada. Eradicators. Drag Wizard now always. Didn't really see a whole lot of play from what I recall. Last pack of the night, guys. Ugh. And we got Battle Sister Florentine. I remember playing Battle Sisters back then. Oh, they were hella fun. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me tonight. I am tired. I am exhausted. I'm going to go to bed. Um, thank you for joining me for this video. Um, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, share with your friends if you want. Although, I don't know who would have the time to sit here for like an hour and a half watching me just open card packs, but thank you anyway. Um, you guys take care. Have a good night. And I'll see you all in the next video. Merry Christmas, guys. Good night.